Top story tonight, Hillsborough's ousted state attorney gives the governor or takes the governor to federal court. This morning, Andrew Warren filed a lawsuit in Florida's Northern District alleging Governor Ron DeSantis violated the Constitution by removing the prosecutor from his elected post earlier this month. Our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders is joining us live tonight from Tallahassee. And Forrest, what's the latest on this new legal dispute? Well, Jameson, I can tell you that this was very much a media blitz. That's what we call it in the business. Warren got out in front of the national cameras today doing two interviews, did one with MSNBC as well as CNN, and then after that held two press conferences across the state. All of it because of this. This is the complaint that he filed in federal court just around the corner. The legal battle between the governor and state attorney Andrew Warren is on. This morning I filed a suit in federal court to challenge the blatant abuse of power by Governor DeSantis in suspending me as state attorney. Warren officially filed this 28-page complaint Wednesday alleging the governor violated Warren's freedom of speech and that DeSantis exceeded his authority when removing the prosecutor from elected office in the 13th Judicial Circuit. The governor has attacked our democracy and it should worry everyone. If the governor's attempt to unilaterally overturn an election is allowed to stand, it threatens to undermine the integrity and outcome of elections across our state for years to come. Warren is calling for a judge to rescind the governor's order, restore the attorney to his post, and prohibit DeSantis from taking similar action in the future. The ouster came after Warren vowed not to prosecute violations of Florida's new 15-week abortion ban. He also pledged to, quote, not promote the criminalization of gender-affirming health care. Warren signed joint statements in support of both. We are suspending... State Attorney Andrew Warren. DeSantis took issue, calling the stance a, quote, neglect of duty. After his press secretary promoted the event online, <whistles> the governor held this press conference on August 4th to eject Warren from the office. When you make yourself above the law, uh, you have violated your duty, uh, you have neglected your duty, and you are displaying a lack of competence. The governor's office responded to the lawsuit with a statement Wednesday morning. Quote, it's not surprising Warren, who was suspended for refusing to follow the law, would file a legally baseless lawsuit challenging his suspension. We look forward to responding in court. Now, one thing that Warren wasn't very clear on is whether or not he would release the list of donors to his legal defense fund. Reporters asked him about that here in Tallahassee twice, and all he really told us is that he would, quote, follow the law. But what's next in this legal dispute? Well, that will be a filing by the governor's attorneys. We will have to wait for that up here in the Northern District Courthouse. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.